Hey you guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Don Does Life and today I get to unbox another company that contacted me um, about two weeks ago. They have sent me their product and they're called FG Normal. It is a new to me company. I will have them up on the screen here at fgnormal.com and I'm just looking forward to seeing what I got and what it looks like. So let's get into it. Now, there's some stuff in this bag I, I did open this bag. I haven't opened up anything else, but there's some stuff in the bag that's not in packages, and so I'm just going to leave it in the bag. Um, but this bag is super crinkly, so I'm going to just get it out of the way for now. And I have got two paintings. I'm not sure what is what, but let's start with the small one as usual. Finish with the big one. Oh, this one is not so easy to open. Okay, this one's gonna take scissors. I'm going in blind, guys. So let's get this out of the package. And take a look at this one. So this one, the canvas is, um, it is a stiffer canvas, but it's, I don't know if the other ones just had coating from the other companies, but this one actually does feel a tiny bit softer. Um, and this one, okay, so this one um, is called Morning Glory, and it cost uh, me three dollars, well it didn't cost me, they sent this to me for free. Um, just to be clear, but the cost on this one is $3.99. It has 21 colors, and I am looking at this, and the drill field looks completely clear. I'm just trying to scan everywhere that I think will be, um, or has the potential to be a bit blurry, and no, this one is really, really clear. So, just going to bring that up to you guys so that you can take a look at it. Like... This one looks really pretty, so I'll just get scan the legend really quickly for you. Um, not really seeing super dark colors on dark backgrounds except for maybe the G. But even that one, I've seen it on the canvas and it's like, it's right there and it's clear. I don't know if you can see that, but yeah, it's totally clear. So this one's laying pretty good. There is the thumbnail and hopefully that kind of gives you a bit of an idea um, the flowers kind of look like they're, they have a glow around them, and then the rest of it is dark. So I looked at it, and I thought it looked nice, and um, it's a 25 by 30, and what is this one? I actually, let's take a look. Oh, it's a round drill, and um, you get your basic kit. The only difference is they do send you a couple of baggies. And let's just take a quick peek at these drills. Oh, there's one extra package there. These are kind of sticking together a little bit. Okay, so pinks, purples, lighter pinks, lavenders, and black. Lots and lots and lots of different shades of uh, pink and purple. A little bit of kind of like a, I'm not sure if that's a gray or a green actually. But the girls themselves look to be quite nice. So very nice. So, like I said, 21 colors, and this will be the 21st color. Very nice. Kit over there. I'm actually just going to move that over there. Now, before I do this, the next painting, um, so that's it for this one, I'm actually going to pull something out of the bag. Um, 
I'm going to pull two things out of the bag. But this one is the next one. So this one is a bookmark and it was $3.99 and I thought this would be fun and different. Those diamonds look really cute. Okay, so there is the bookmark cover and it comes with a nice little tassel that you just feed through this tiny little hole right here. It's very simple. It doesn't have a lot, but it, it, and it doesn't have a, um, a legend, um, but I would assume, okay, so um, each of the packages is, is marked and the numbers are on here. I unboxed the mandala the, uh, the other day and it was just symbols. There, was, there were no colors on it. Um, so they do send you... Oh, so they are in bags, so that's nice. So you actually don't have to um, bag these. Or sorry, uh, put them into containers, except for these two. But I would probably put them into baggies too, and I wouldn't kit this up. I would just do it because it looks like it would be a very quick project. I'll just show you this. Um, so, I mean, it is... There are a few drills to place, but it's it's not very large. It is it's a bookmark, so if you can imagine that. So there are three um, crystal drills. We've got a purple and kind of a tealy blue, and it looks like a a black. But those look black to me. And then you have oh, this is different. So we have some. Oh, okay. So they're gold. Um, I thought there was gold and silver mixed in together, but it's actually just that um, the silver side is the bottom and they were flipped over. So we've got some gold. I don't know what you call those. To me, they look like teardrops. Then you have some really pretty red ones that, that have a iridescent sort of blue and gold and orange and green and I, that's really pretty. And then we have a dark purple teardrop. Actually on camera it almost looks blue, but um, in person they, it looks very purple. And then we have a teal teardrop. <clears throat> and then um, some lighter gold. And these were the ones, to me, they look like um, little tiny eyes. They're in the shape of an eye. And then uh, just two big kind of, they look um, diamond colored until you turn them and then they turn like uh, pink and yellow. And oh, I'm not showing you. Sorry, guys. Yeah, they, have, they shine different colors. So, so that's that one. And these ones I am going to put back in this package because I do not want to lose them or get them mixed up with anything else. And of course you get your basic kit and there are a few bags in here as well. So your wax, boat, and pen. So that is number two. Oh, I better put that in there too. Don't want to lose that. I think um, kits like these are, are fun kits um, if you have kids. I said this in my other video as well, but if you had kids who wanted to partake in the greatness of diamond painting, um, then you definitely could get them involved with a smaller project and do give them something like a bookmark or a sticker or something like that that they could do. Now, the next thing I was going to show you, which is also in this bag, um, I got two little, let's see if it's, actually it might be better on the darker background, um, two little cover minders. And they're both the same, and the cover minders were $1.99 each. Oh, this bag does not want to open and it's ripping. Lovely. 
I don't have any cover minders, so these are the very first ones I've had. Um, and they said I could choose whatever I wanted to on the site, so I thought um, I would give these a try, but I thought it was so adorable. It's just like a little a little gumdrop or a little, uh, I don't know. I actually don't know what you, what you would call that. Just like a little, I don't know, it's just a little cute character in the shape of a little poof. <laughs> and the magnets are pretty strong, I think. Oh, I must not even hear that when that happened. Oh my goodness. Wow. Holy smokes, you guys. That's a strong magnet. Like, I'm not even holding it near. Like, oh, I must have it in the reverse. Do you see that? It's magic. I'm doing magic on Don Does Life. <laughs> and then I got the same style, um, just in a different color. So I picked this one because I love kind of lime green. And um, on the site, it actually did look a little more lime green, but it's in person, it looks a little more yellow. Um, and then I got this one because, oh, this one has tape on it. What the heck? Jeez. <laughs> the struggle is real, guys. Okay, so this one is just a little blue one. And it kind of matched the, uh, my channel colors. Oh, jeez, holy crap. Did you guys see that? <laughs> oh my god. I was so not expecting that. I can't get them apart now. Oh my, holy smokes. That, wow. These are strong. Like, look at it. It flipped that back up on its own. Oh, maybe not. No, it is. Like, it is affecting it from... I'm going to have fun with these. <laughs> I'm just trying to see if I can freak anybody out with my magic trick. Okay, watch. Do you see? I'm just going near it and it's spinning. Oh, that is so cool. Whoa! <laughs> that is awesome. I'm having so much fun with those. So yeah, those are my first two cover minders. I am like, oh, that just made my night totally, it did. <laughs> okay. okay, so I'm gonna move this one out of the way and then we'll go on to the next diamond painting. And, and then I have another experiment to do after this, just wait. Oh, this one seems to be packed quite good, so I'm kind of a little bit freaked out that I'm going to cut this. So I'm going to try and slip my scissors in here and see if I can not accidentally cut something that I'm supposed to cut. I'm just sitting here with a smile on my face from those, those things. I wasn't expecting them to be that strong. Um, okay, so this one... So just looking through the package itself and like the drill field looks completely clear. That is pretty nice. Okay, so this one, I for some reason I didn't mark down if they were round or square, um, but I guess we'll see as soon as we see the drills. This is a 30 by 40 and it's called Starry Night. <laughs> Most of you probably recognize this painting. You see it everywhere and you see variations on it. And But um, I, I don't know. I like it. Uh, it's so funny. My husband's best friend is an artist and his name is Vaughn. And um, when I first met him many, many years ago, all I could think was Van Gogh because he's an artist. But instead of saying Van Gogh, saying uh, Vaughn Gogh. <laughs> I was going to get him a t-shirt that said Van Gogh on it, but he does not like Van Gogh, <laughs> so I guess it could have been still a good joke. And so I've been eyeing up this one for a while as well, and actually I'm just going to take these out and then just get you to take a look at... Um, the drill field. The drill field is incredibly clear. It actually is probably one of the most clear I've seen other than a Diamond Art Club. So I'm actually quite impressed with how clear that is. And something I just, just noticed, but I don't know if you can see that, but on the side here, um, it is like the painting, but not done in 
uh, diamonds. So almost like if you were to put this onto a, a canvas frame or something, you could wrap it around and continue the painting and it wouldn't look out of place. That actually is a, that's really cool. I've never seen anyone do that before. And then just to look at the legend here, so there are 20 colors only. I'm actually surprised. I thought there would be more. And there is one AB in this? Oh my word. I don't, I think that's an AB. Um, it says 444 AB. Hmm. And every other place that I've ever seen ABs, the uh, ABs are always under 150. So they must use their own code for it. And then just to take a look, I, again, one more time at this drill field. Wow, I am so impressed with how clear this is. This one does have sparkle in the canvas. But like, look at that, you guys. That is incredibly clear. This one is going to be really fun, I think. I wasn't sure um, how this would translate into a painting, but it looks really, really interesting. Wow. Hmm. Okay, so let's look at some drills here. And same thing, just really quickly, uh, you get some baggies, wax, pen, and a boat. Just going to put that over in my boat pile. I have quite a few with all the unboxings I've been doing lately. And there's the AB. So it's a yellow. It must be up in the up in the sky in the well, I mean that would be the only place I see yellow. Oh yeah, there's tons of ones on here. Huh. Okay. So it's a yellow AB. Really pretty coating on it, makes it look pink, a little bit of uh, blue and green I can see. Um, but that is very pretty. And then we've got like a butter yellow. Some taupey colors. Uh, some two very similar blues, but they are different. Purpley blues, I would say. This is 939 here. Yeah. Really pretty, pretty blues. A little bit of brown and a little bit of white. I think 5200 is the pure white, but if I'm wrong, somebody can let me know. My experience is limited. <laughs> and I don't have access to it. Um, a DMC chart. I'd actually like to get one of those books or a chart or something off of Amazon uh, so that I can start looking at them because there's so many colors. And I never am quite sure what color I'm looking at. So wow, you guys, this is blowing my mind. I I feel like in a way I'm looking at a Diamond Art Club um, canvas. It is amazing. The rendering on this is amazing. And I think I have been very happy with a lot of my recent unboxings, but this one kind of excites me. That is really, really cool. So, actually, I should probably, I think this is the one that we came out of, but I want to keep these all together. And it was real this way. Huh, really, really cool. Okay. Next thing I have, and this would be the last thing that I have, is another accessory <laughs> that I've kind of been looking at them on Amazon and then I thought, no, I'm not going to get one. And um, then I saw them on this site and I thought, okay, I'm going to get it. So this is a little <laughs> mini vacuum. <laughs> and I actually brought, I don't know where you put the batteries. Where do you put the batteries, on? Are there instructions? I don't even see an on-off switch. Oh, there's the on-off switch. Okay, so where's the batteries? Okay, I think it says that there's supposed to be a tiny brush, or maybe I have to supply the tiny brush, but I'm not seeing where I'm supposed to put the batteries. <laughs> But I assume it has to be somewhere up here. Does this pop out? 
Oh boy, am I feeling dumb. The batteries have to be up here. Oh, there we go, okay. And I actually, in anticipation of trying this out, brought some batteries. Wow, this is really loose in here. I don't personally know how this is going to work. This one seems a bit tighter, I think. Hmm. Oh, okay. It turned on, so I'm just gonna leave it at that. I think I put it on backwards. There we go, yeah. So, it's supposed to be like, I don't know if those are supposed to be whiskers or something, but. Oh, see, the battery's rolled out. <laughs> Jeez. They're really super, super loose. Like, if you shake this thing even slightly, the batteries will move. Oh, the batteries are backwards on here. I don't like that. To me, it should be, there shouldn't be such a big space. I wonder if I could somehow bend that out. I don't want to break it, but at the same time, I mean, do you see how loose those are? That That's weird to me, but anyways. So just kind of put it all back together. Oh, maybe this way. <laughs> I hope you guys are getting a kick out of how r ridiculous I look or sound on here today. <laughs> oh, now the feet are backwards. Oh, gone. What the heck? Okay. So those fit. Like, does that... like it doesn't really feel like it twists together, but it feels like it should. Oh, there we go. Okay. <gasps> Did I just... Yeah, the batteries do not want to sit in there very well. All right, let's, after that great dramatic scene, let's spill some diamonds and see how well it uh, cleans them up. So this is from um, an owl that I'm working on right now. And let's just kind of spread them out like I spilled them and see what this thing does. You ready? Let's get in here for the experiment. Okay. I'm going to close my lid because I seem to be having one of those days where accidents happen or something is happening. So it's not that loud. Oh, listen to it sucking it up. Oh, wow, I got them all. This thing actually works, you guys. They are all picked up. So I was thinking, like, wow, if you ever had to... If you had a spill and you had to pick them up, that is really, really cool. And then you just twist off the feet and there they all are. That is awesome. Oh, a couple of them even went a little, little too far, but oh, see, I knocked out my batteries again. So the only thing that I would say about this that I, I it's going to be a pet peeve of mine is the fact that these batteries consistently move. They are so loose in here. Um, Oh, I guess I should turn them off. So they like, I mean, you guys, when you take a look at that, I don't know if you can see how loose that's in there. And it's turning on. Like if that's not a little bit scary, I mean, if this was not batteries, but something else and it was that loose, I'd be worried about fire hazard. But anyways, and like this, if I shook this, it's literally gonna fall out. Maybe I can push out this side a little bit too. I don't know. I'll have to work on it. I'm going to have to do some research on YouTube and see if there's a way to make that a little more snug. I think MacGyver it a little, I don't know. Cause it's going to bug me. Oh, actually now it's seeming, well, no, depends on which way you shake it, I guess. Never mind. I give up. It works. So that's all that matters to me. And, uh, <laughs> wow. I am so impressed. 
So that was a huge win, you guys. Um, I liked everything that I got. The uh, I loved these things. I am going to have a hoot playing with these little magnets because, I again, they shocked me. Um, this bookmark is cute. It, it would be a fun little quick, very, very quick project to do. Um, this painting, I am so impressed with how it looks. It's so weird to me that this one is completely different than this one. I wonder, it makes me wonder if companies like FG Normal um, get their canvases from different suppliers because, again, this is so flipping clear and so well um, laid out. Like, it's crazy. And an AB. I was not expecting an AB at all. Um, and then this canvas will be another fun, quick project to do. So let me clean these up. So let's put the feet back on the right way. Where did my other one go? Oh, is it under here? There it is, yeah. Okay, you guys, this is FG Normal. I am super, super impressed with all of this, especially this canvas. I cannot even believe the quality of it. The canvas itself is what I was, was expecting, um, but the rendering on this is really, really good. All of the links to their website as well as these products will be in the description down below. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up as well. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If you'd like to see more things like unboxings or whipping chats or um, other things diamond painting related, I'd love to have you be part of the family. And that's going to do it for me. I hope you guys are having a really, really nice night. And until the next video, I will see you again. Bye!